In this video, we're going to talk about compound measures. So that's dealing with speed, distance, time, and density, mass, volume. So for each of those, we have a triangle to help us remember the formula. So we have this triangle here, where we have speed and time on the bottom and distance on the top. So we can then use this triangle to find any of the formulas that we need based on which two pieces of information we're given. So for example, if I want to find the time, then I'm going to cover up time with my hand. And then I can see that I've got distance and speed. Now distance is on the top. So that means I divide. This line means divide. So time equals distance divided by speed. There's one of my formulas. If I then wanted to find the speed, I'm going to cover up speed in my triangle. And I've got distance and time with the line in between. So distance divided by time equals speed. And finally, if I want to find the distance, I'm going to cover that one up. And I'm going to do speed multiplied by time because they're next to each other. So we multiply. And they're your three formulas. So they're really easy to find if you remember the order of the triangle. So let's look at some questions. The first thing we need to do when we're given a question is decide which two pieces of information we're given and which one we want to find. Then we need to choose the appropriate formula and then work out our answer and make sure we give the correct units. For example, Jane runs 200 meters in 21.4 seconds. Work out her average speed in meters per second. So we are finding speed. So let's bring back our triangle and cover up speed. So we're left with distance over time. So divide. So we're going to do 200 divided by 21.4, which gives us an answer of 9.3 meters per second. Now we use essentially the same triangle, but we're going to change it. So in this one, we have mass on the top and then density and volume on the bottom. It works exactly the same. We cover up the one that we want to find, so we get the formulas. So for example, a piece of metal weighs 40 grams and has a volume of four centimeters cubed. Work out its density. So let's cover up density in our triangle. We're left with mass and volume with a divide in between. So we need to do the mass divided by the volume. The mass was 40, the volume was four, so we're gonna do 40 divided by four to get 10. And our units for density, we just combine the two units that we've got. So grams and centimeters cubed. So we would say it is 10 grams per centimeters cubed.